hey, I just got finished doing a video and I had all this stuff and I wanted to show you this stuff, but I didn't want to put it in the video. So we're making a second video. It's kind of a, a behind the scenes type of video. So what we're going to do is clear off some of this junk that I had from a previous video. And I'm going to show you what we found in these jars. We're going to take our time. We're going to have some fun. So what I uh, like to do is have something that I can lay out on the table uh, to kind of make a mess, but make it easy to um, uh, put it away. So when we're done, um, I'm going to take this. Uh, this is a cutting mat from uh, sewing, and uh, we'll be able to pick it up and pour it right into our little box, okay? So I'm going to go through and show you all the fun stuff I found. Uh, in fact, I found this uh, really neat uh, butterfly. It's uh, actually very... Uh, uh, kind of detailed type of thing. So that's there. Let's just pour it out and let's see what we got here. Okay, all sorts of beads and things. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in this one. This is all from a thrift store near me that does is a um, an animal shelter. So this is how they uh, get their income. So they have that. Now there's, oh, there's all sorts of, of bits of uh, gold. Sometimes you'll find gold, precious materials. Uh, not all the time, uh, but you'll find uh, interesting uh, coins or trinkets, things like that. Uh, let's see, uh, this one is, uh, oh boy, I would have to have my glasses on. Uh, this is some sort of a, a military medallion of some sort, maybe a, um, well, it's got two pins on it, so it could have been on something. Uh, let's see, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny clothespin, okay. Uh, something stretchy. This could actually be, uh, if you had a very small doll, you could make a bracelet out of it. Okay. Uh, there's lots of broken uh, pieces here. In fact, there is a pair of uh, toy uh, handcuff keys. Don't think this would work for a regular handcuff, but you never know. Uh, let's see. There is some sort of medallion uh, with a cross on it here that looked like some sort of button. Uh, let's see, there is a coin of sorts that's aluminum. Again, I don't have my glasses, I can't read it. Uh, let's see here, some sort of little brooch. Uh, again, that little uh, metal uh, deal there. So uh, another, uh, this looks like a, a medical um, uh, kind of display type item there. Uh, for a, This looks look like... Um, this is a bookmark with uh, BWS stamped on it. And so that's what we've got there. Another set of keys and all that, okay? So when you find these items, you'll uh, wanna organize them. Uh, but if you get a lot of them at once, you probably wanna, like I said, use uh, some way to, to store them here. So let me do this. Let me see if I can get this and pour it directly into the box. There we go. Oop, I lost one. There we go. Okay. Just goes right on it. Awesome. Okay. So we've got that, and we lost one over here. It's probably on. Oh, it's on the floor over there. So uh, hold on a second. I'm gonna get my glasses because I want to uh, really do a good job on the next one. So hang tight. Alright, I got my glasses so I can actually see what's on these little items and we're going to set those there for now. We're going to get on to jar number two. Uh, this is another charity. Uh, this is, um, uh, let, me, let me tell you a little behind the scenes story. These jars are here because uh, somebody that visits that charity asked for broken jewelry. Up until then, uh, this particular charity was not making these little jars. So if you want the behind the scenes, if you want to know how to get these at your local charity and they don't have them, ask for them. And if you, until you, you need to ask and ask and ask until you finally wear them down and they go, okay, we'll make them. And then you just, it's, a, it's you're chancing it because you never know when they're going to bring them out. But this particular one has, um, these for $4.99, and there's a ton of stuff in here. So I'm gonna start here, the very top. 
There are some uh, beads here. I'm not quite sure. Uh, let's see here. It is actually um, looks like a whole necklace. It's kind of jumbled up mess right now. But it's like a fishing line with some beads on it. But on it is some sort of a, of a ring. And I don't know how the ring got caught on there. Oh, there it is. So this is uh, it's probably a child's ring, uh, something like that. It's not very fancy, but, um, but you've got that. You can make all sorts of things from that. Some more beads. That's a little chain here. Uh, we can do something with that. There is some twine. I don't know quite sure what that's doing. Uh, let's see here. Oh, but the secret was that, um, and this is not, you're not trying to, to, to get rich doing this, but uh, some of these charities, they, they don't quite know what they've got. Uh, so you might benefit by finding something really cool. In fact, uh, this right here is, is pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. So it's a chain. It has a little medallion on it right there. Actually, the gem is missing. So that's probably why they put it in there. But the point I'm making is you may luck out and get something that is uh, sterling silver. Uh, you might find an intact bracelet like this that looks pretty cool. I wouldn't, well, I guess it's stretchy. So you'd uh, wear the bracelet like that. So you've got a neat bracelet. Okay. Five bucks. Somebody pay five bucks for that on their own. Uh, but what you're going to find sometimes, and I found it, is uh, gold. You might find some gold material in here. This one here, uh, let's see here. This is a necklace that came from Charlie Page. I'm not sure what that is. Jan's Hallmark Metal. And this one, is, yeah, Charlie Page. This one was originally $19.99. Wait a second, maybe not. Maybe it was more. Doesn't say. Whoop. Suggested retail. Yeah, suggested retail $19.99. And they had a 50% off. So somebody probably paid $10 for this. And you could use it for all sorts of things. It's interlinked like plastic loops of sorts. In fact, look right there. That separates out. You could undo this whole thing. You could make a just the, the, uh, the pink uh, salmon uh, color chain. You could make a gold chain, what have you. So you've got two pieces there. Let's see, we've got another bracelet right here. Uh, this bracelet looks like it could be Mother Pearl. It's snapped right there. But I'll tell you what, this is what gave me an idea. These could be eyes. So say, for instance, you wanted to go through and make uh, interesting eyes, you could do that. In fact, if you look at it carefully, there's plastic on one side and then this, this Mother of Pearl on the other. So you might be able to even take that layer off and use it for something else. Or you've got a bracelet for the kids like that, you see, and you use the, the broken piece on the inside. Okay, so there you go. All right, uh, let's see what else we've got. So this is the fun part. I love this. Treasure hunt. Uh, this is some sort, ooh, this might be a locket. Hold on a second. I might put it in my pocket. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't funny. Uh, let's see, this is not a locket, but it says so much to do and few people to do it for me. That's what it says. There's a little picture there. It's like a little pendant. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. We've got another necklace from Jan's Hallmark. And, ooh, this is fancy. It's got a little feather on it and this and that. This was originally uh, $14.99. And it is an owl. An owl motif with an owl on it there. So you could use that. Okay. Another pendant here. This one has uh, a cherub with a, um, it looks like could be Cupid um, with the bow. In fact, here's another way to do it. If you want to, on the smaller items, use the lid from your tub and pour this stuff out. You want to be very careful. I found this uh, earring here has the point on it still. Whoops. Uh, let's see here. We have some silver. Now, some more of this uh, comes from that same. See, now that's what the pendant looked like on this one before. It had a pendant on it. Uh, where is it? Right there. Okay, so you've got the same, essentially the same necklace. This has the gem, whatever it is, on it, and the other one does not. But we've got several of them all tangled together in the same batch. Okay, again, I paid 
$4.99 for all this. And look at that. These are awesome. These are it, This is a, 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 a bracelet with all these little beads on it, okay? And, the, and it's on a, a, like an elastic material. Uh, I wouldn't count on this bracelet staying in one piece, but it's got little things that you can take off and use for other, other purposes. Uh, we've got a watch with uh, these little gems here. Again, these gems, if there are matching gems on the other side, could be eyeballs, okay? Uh, the watch itself, uh, I can't tell if it's working. Let's see here. The watch itself is not working, but that doesn't matter, okay? So we've got some more. Let's see what else we can find. There we go. We've got some more gems and beads. We've got all sorts of little doodahs here. Clip-on earrings or a, yep, that's an earring. Okay. Now, the one that I'm really excited to see, I'm going to drag it out right now. This is the one that really attracted my attention. Okay. This is another bracelet. This one uh, was listed at $3.99, so it's not real expensive. It's held together by this elastic band. Okay. But what's neat about it is they would make awesome eyes. Like a like an alien or or like uh, uh, some other uh, animal or or something that you wanted to have maybe some glasses or what have you. But these are awesome eyeballs for me for me, and um, you can easily uh, just put a good glob of hot glue on there and just stick it right on. And we're gonna use these in a future project. Okay, so let's see let's see what else we've got. Some more uh, uh, earrings. All sorts of beads, uh, some more necklaces and, and chains. Here's some more. Oh, look at this. Okay. Look at this. Again, these are eyeballs to me. That's what those are. This is a broken bracelet. Okay. You could fix it, and it would clasp like that, and you could wear it as a bracelet. Easily fix this. Okay. Because I think it's just one little loop. And I, I'm sure we can find some sort of loop and, and fix it together. It would be just like that. But these little guys right here, these are awesome. Uh, you just, uh, in fact, uh, break this apart here, and you've got a pair of eyes. Okay. Down here, we got the last little bit. All sorts of little trinkets and doodahs going all sorts of places. A bow. Uh, some sort of, ooh, that, look at this. Another pair of eyeballs, look at that, okay. So you never know what you're gonna find in these things. Now let's go ahead and put these in there. All right, we're gonna put all this away. Remember, this is the, the bonus episode anyway. We're gonna put all these items, and this is heavy by the way, back in this box. And we're gonna go to the fish bowl. Okay, this one I took a chance on. I saw those orange things and I thought those would be perfect eyeballs, but this was sitting there as well and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a chance. And wouldn't you know it, as I was looking at it uh, with the uh, person working there, he saw something that I didn't see and uh, we'll look at that in a second. Um, it was a, a, a special uh, ring and I think we will look at that and you'll see that it might have been worth the $4.99 that I paid for this one as well. But, here we go. Okay, I'm trying not to fling stuff all over the house. Okay. All sorts of uh, sharp items. In fact, that one's going to go in that jar. I don't like that. There's a little safety pin and a few other items. Some of these items got stuck to the top. There's some pins. And uh, frankly, I'm just going to set these aside for now. They're all stuck on there, leave them there, okay? So now, we've got some more stuff here. We've got more uh, necklaces, we've got some rings, all sorts of chains. It's just coming right on out, okay? Again, who knows what this stuff is made of? All right, boy, that's a tangled mess, all right, okay? Never know. Uh, you've got this buckle here. I don't know what we'd use that for. 
Uh, let's see here. We've got more earrings. Uh, let's see earrings. Now I'm going to start pouring this out. Okay. Until I find that item. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, this is cool. Uh, this is a cuff link. Just like that. That's a cuff link. Okay. If we find the matching cuff link, we're, we're golden because this would be perfect to put on as an eyeball as well because it already has a way to fasten it inside. Okay. So we're going to look out for that other cuff link. We've got, oh, let's see what else we've got in here. We've got, oh, this, is that? No, I thought that was another one of the, okay. So again, we're going to pull this out. We've got these little, little beads here. You never know what we could use those for. We've got a um, uh, little clip-on uh, earring there. I'm still trying to find that item that I was looking for. Let's see here. We've got lots of bling. This might even be gold. I don't know. We'd have to get that checked out. Probably not, but you never know. And let's see, another bow with a chain attached to it. Again, we're still looking for the matching, matching one there. Okay, so this is it. Aha! Oh, it's missing a piece. Uh, this is what I was looking for. I saw that in there, a uh, like a turquoise type ring. Um, it, it could be well. You could still wear it like that without the, the center uh, a gem, uh, but that would be fun there. Let's see what else we've got. Boy, this one is really, really packed full of goodies. Let's do this. Okay, so let's dump this in here for now. All right, and go for round two. Okay. There we go. Boy, there's all sorts of good stuff here. Okay. Things like that. We've got more chains clumped together. All sorts of things like the, this little uh, gem right there. Let's see here. There are all sorts of things you can find. This might be gold. I don't know. Um, but these are fun things that you can add to make your, uh, your puppets pop. And, and uh, let's see here. Oh, there's another ring right there. Missing a stone. Okay, so let's see what else we can find. Nope. Okay, let's finish off with the last little bit. There we go. And this is for the, the diehard fans. You guys stay to the very end. We get to see what's in the very bottom here. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Look how, look how delicate that is, all these little wires here. That's pretty cool. I don't know what we could use that for. That could actually be the necklace of a, of a character. I got a penny back. So I got a penny. So instead of $4.99, it was $4.98. I got some sort of big shell. I got another one of those things with beads on that one. And a bunch of chains and goodies and brooches and all sorts of stuff just like that these are all the things that you can find Ooh, that might be gold that you can find in the grab bags at thrift stores or again if you're at a garage sale and they've got a bunch of junk jewelry and you say hey how much for all of it and they'll give you a price on that and you can actually get a very good deal and to top it off You've got a fishbowl as well. Thank you very much for joining me on this. This is an experimental journey. And if you have some ideas for videos, put them in the comments below. If you're a first timer, uh, go and subscribe to this channel and uh, you can join all the DIY fun that we go through. Thanks again. This is the DIY Magician.